Good evening and welcome to Bath High School. It is the second weekend of WBO action for girls basketball players across Northwest Ohio. And that includes the Western Buckeye League, where tonight we have the Shawnee Indians. They come in with 3-2 and two record. They are 1-0 and oh in conference play, and they are playing the Bath Wild Kittens, who are 4-0. Oh. They are also 1-0 oh in conference play. My name is Mark Schneider, my pleasure to play by play alongside Mr. Dar. Now we're all dark. Uh, interesting matchup this evening. Let's talk about Shawnee first. Three and two on the season, one on conference play. Yeah, they, Shawnee's got an interesting. They, they came out 0 and 2 right off the bat. They got beat by Marion Local and they got beat by Columbus Grove. But since that time, they've won three straight. And, you know, an interesting fact is the fact that they scored 242 points and they've given up 242 points. So that's about as even as you can get on that. You know, they got a. You know, an interesting team. Of course, this whole result revolves around Grace Freiberger for them, you know, averaging about 22 points a game. And another one, you know, they've, they've shot 62 free throws, and she shot most of those. So, you know, this is a girl that, you know, you really got to put under wraps. You got to try to keep them out there. Now, they're not a real good three-point shooting team. They have, haven't shown that this season. So if you can force them outside, you know, away from the paint, you got a good chance of beating the Shawnee team. Bath comes in at 4-0. They've got a couple of big seniors really doing a lot of damage for them. Oh, they certainly do. And, you know, this is a pretty balanced team. They average about 52 points a game. They give up about 38 points a game. You know, they've got the four wins under the belt against some pretty good teams. Uh, they had an overtime game against Sydney on their schedule as well. So, you know, they've had some tough competition, but they've man managed to stay undefeated. Both teams want to know in the league. But you look down across their board, and they, you know, they do. They've got a balanced team. They score a lot of points, and uh, it's going to be an interesting game tonight. Let's take a, a look at our starting lineups very quickly for this evening. For Shawnee, number three is Cameron Morris. Number 11 is uh, Morgan Betts. 14 is Grace Freiberger, we mentioned a moment ago. 22 tonight will be Lauren Potts. 23 is Bryn Patterson. For Bath, number two, Faith Clark. 22 is Claire Faust. 23, Kelsey Carlson. 24 is Izzy McDermott. Number 32 is Ann Oliver, and Bath wins the tip. Our officials tonight, Tony Castronova, Amy Rao, and Jacob Botek. Now you look across, Claire Faust, 13 steals so far this season for Bath. Ann Oliver with 11 steals. Faith Clark put that one up, missed it. Rebound shot, left hand will not fall inside for Kelsey Carlson, will go the other way. This is Freiberger. And as she does so well, takes the ball to the glass. It's tipped outside. And the rebound comes to Cameron Morris. And we're going to get a travel out front as Bryn Patterson got her feet a little tangled up. Yeah, the Indians with about 16 turnovers per game on the average. And, you know, there's one right there, an unforced air on that one there. But, again, this team revolves around Freiberger, and that's what she does. Gets to the basket as quickly as she can. Doubled up on the sideline was Faith Clark as she stepped out of bounds with the basketball. Each team is missing a player this evening. For Shawnee, Sidney Burris is home and ill, and Bath has a significant loss, and that is Mara Davis, the 5'3 freshman, who was averaging better than five points a game, had a broken foot, and she is out at least six weeks for the Wild Kittens. Yeah, There's tough break Freiburg, for Bath. Freiburg did a goal, she missed it, but the rebound comes out to Morgan Betts. Freiburger in the corner. Grace averages 22 points a game, five rebounds, four assists, almost four steals per game. Coming off a screen that time. Ball is taken away from Lauren Potts. This is Ann Oliver. Inside, left-handed push shot, and she will draw contact. Yeah, Ann Oliver, the senior out there, you know, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Five and a half rebounds and a 27 or a 60% free throw shooter this season, three of her first five. She and Claire Faust have had outstanding senior years as she makes her first free throw on the season. You gave Ann's numbers, Claire Faust, 14.3 points per game and 17 rebounds as she makes both free throws. And the Wild Kittens get off in the first lead of the game at 2-0. Freiberger looking for a screen, does not accept the screen. Now she does. And they left her alone. She is a three-point shooter. Oliver has to pick her up. As well as being able to take the ball to the goal. She averaged 22 a game. And yeah, Freiberger has a little tough start on the three-point line. She's four for 19 so far this season. 
12-foot jump shot. Banks around and will not go for Morgan Betts. The rebound went to Carlson. Oliver. And that skip pass is stolen by Freiberger. She heads to the rim. And we're tied at two. And said she had 15 steals in her first four games this season. And that's what you see. Eh? Another one right there for her. Carlson. This is a Claire Faust. And back to Faith Clark. There's Carlson, baseline jumper, left-handed shot. There we go. Kelsey Carlson as a sophomore averaging nine and a half points per game. Nice shot there from baseline. That's a tough shot, too. They switch on the screen out front. Skip pass in the corner to Betts. And Freiberger. Freiberger content to work it around a little bit right now. And that time we're going to get an offensive foul. That will be on the screener. That goes to Lauren Potts. Never got herself set. And Freiburg was trying to use the screen. It became illegal. Well, and that's what Shawnee's going to do. I mean, they're going to try to free up Freiburger any way they can. And, you know, that one, that time they didn't get away with it. But, you know, that's what they have to do if they're going to stay in this game with this Bath Wild. So foul works oh inside and steps through and scores. That was a pretty move. 6-2 Wild Kittens, three minutes into this one. Like you said, Mark, Claire Faust averaging just over 14 points a game, and that was a pretty move on that one right there. You know, I didn't know how many ways you can turn to get to the basket, but she hit them all. Three ball, Cameron Bet or Cameron Morris, and I think somebody got called for a foul, shoving her way through a screen. It does. It goes to Ann Oliver, the first Wild Kitten foul. Lauren Potts will be the inbounder on the sideline. Yeah, the Shawnee team only has one senior on their roster, and that's uh, Grace Feiberger. The rest of them are a lot of sophomores out there, you know, and one couple juniors and a couple freshmen. Clark harassing Freiberger. Skip pass. 17-footer bounces around. No, rebound comes to Patterson, and she loses it in traffic. And Oliver has it. Head to Carlson. There's that left-handed push shot again. Claire Faust goes high for the rebound. And we're going to get a foul. Faust averaging 17 rebounds a game. That's just How amazing. That? I've not seen a number like that in a <laughs> long time. Lauren it. Potts picks up foul number two. And that will bring in Alexis Whetstone. Alexis, a 5'9 sophomore. She averages three and a half points a game. Bounce pass inside Faust, Oliver. And back to Oliver on the repost. Her shot is short and is tipped out of bounds by Claire Faust. To your point, Adar, there is just one senior. That would be Freiberger and two juniors on Shawnee's roster. Everybody else would be freshman and sophomore. Bath has the three seniors and just one junior. So a lot of young girls will be playing a lot of time this evening. And I'll tell you, Mark, look at this bath team, and each one of these girls has their role. I mean, they know what it is. You look at, you know, Faust was averaging 17 rebounds a game. You look down the line as far as scoring goes, and, you know, you see her with 14 points and 12 points for Oliver and 9 points for Carlson. So each of them have their, their thing. That basket's to Cameron Morris. Cameron averages 4.8 points per game. That's her first goal this evening. And almost a steal. Oliver finds Carlson in the corner for three. Yep. Kelsey Carlson has nine three-point field goals on the season now and five points today. And this Bath team averages hitting about 65 or 63 percent of their three-pointers. Freiberger gets called for a five-second count. Really nice job defensively by Faith Park, not allowing her to accept the screen and go to her left. Faith Clark, the 5'3 junior. She is the junior on this Wild Kitten roster. Beats the trap. And she's the floor general for this Wild Kitten team, too. Tracked down the corner by Izzy McDermott. Thrown inside, and we're going to get a foul. As Faust was trying to make a move to the goal. That will go to Cameron Morris. That is the fourth foul of the quarter with three minutes to go. 
Kittens may be shooting some free throws this evening. Cam Morris with a big uh, order tonight, trying to go up against Faust underneath the basket. A very definite size advantage to the Wild Kittens. Carlson gets another three look. That was a little off the backside. McDermott gets the rebound on the backside. Going to get another look to Carlson. That one's long. And we'll go out of bounds. Good ball movement. Shot just went a little long. And yeah, they're getting some open looks out there. I mean, she's had a couple of them right there in the road, just not hitting it down. You know, but they are getting the looks out there. So uh, Shawnee's going to have to make some adjustments to get out there on that line, keep them away from it. Switch on the screen out front and then back again as Faith Park goes back to Freiburger. There's Patterson trying to get inside and had to go back to Freiburger. Working better. And Freiburger gets to the rim, spins Whoa. it off the glass, and scores. Because Freiburger has four in the game. And that was all Freiburger on that one right there. Up to Faust. Then. Skip pass. Clark. Oliver on the top of the circle. Let's we'll see if it counts. It does. Three-point field goal. And Oliver, she's got five in the game now. And on the rebound, we're going to get a foul that we go against Bryn Patterson. She was grabbing a hold of somebody. Or uh, I think that will put Oliver made the three, so she can't be the shooter. It's a rebound foul. Here comes Faust. This will be a, four, a five point play. Yeah, it will be. Make a three, and you got a couple of free throws on the bonus rule. That's rarity, isn't it? Fifth. Won't be so much this season, I suppose, but. <laughs> a couple of. Wild Kittens checking in. This will be number 12, Gwen Faust, and uh, number 10 is Marley Mason. First two subs in the game for Coach Greg Mock. And coming in will also be uh, Anna Menke, a 5'8 sophomore for Coach Rachel Rumbaugh's team. It's 12 6 Kittens as they're about to shoot the second free throw from Faust. Yeah, Faust now 12 for 24. Got three points in the game now. Two minutes to go here in our opening quarter. And at one point it was six to four, and it's now ballooned up to a 13-6 bath advantage. Freiberger tries to go right, and this time Clark gets called for a hand check. Our scoreboard is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Inside, pass goes down to Morris. And Cameron's looking for a teammate, and in the scrap in the corner comes to Morgan Bettis, but then ends up in Claire Faust's hands. That's unofficially five turnovers now for the Shawnee Indians. This is Mason who checked in just a moment ago, and also Gwen Faust who checked in. Carlson lobs it inside to Claire Faust, and back outside again. That's where that height advantage comes into play. You can get three on the again. inside. Backside rebound came to Anna Menke. And Faith Park going for a steal. Kick, kick, tipped it out of bounds. Path now two for five from three point range. Oliver back in. Faust will get a break. Also back into the basketball game comes Izzy McDermott. And that will give. Kelsey Carlson a break. Beth doing a good job of keeping Freiburger away. She's got two baskets on the inside, but they've made a nice job of really keeping her out of there. Benke's three goes long. Shawnee's gone zone. McDermott gets a three. Oliver rebounds and goes right back up and scores points. Six and seven for her in the quarter. Path with a 15-6 lead. There's a screen. Trying to pick him up with Mason. And then Clark gets back to him. Betts. Whetstone. And Clark doing a nice job on Freiburger here. She has done a good quarter. job, hasn't she? 
And whenever she needs the help, Beth's right there to give it to her. You know, the other player's coming over to help the her out. The three goes from Whetstone, bounces long. Scramble for the rebound. It comes to Menke. And then lost it out of bounds on the sidelines to a 15.6 left. Wild Kittens will get a hold of the basketball. And we're going to tying our shoe activity by Anna Menke. And the ball will be inbounded then to Faith Clark. When you got that height advantage underneath the bathhouse in this game, I mean, you can shoot those three pointers and have confidence somebody's going to clean it up on the inside for you. Clark with a long Whoa. three. And that's how our first quarter will come to an end. It's good news for your bath. Wow, good for up 15 6. Watch high school basketball. Back at Bath High School, where our scoreboards are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, Delta, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Our scoreboard, Bath 15, Shawnee 6. We've got five total players have scored the game, Sean. Well, like I said, you know, when you when you got the advantage underneath, you know, when you get the tall girls under there, you're not you're not going to be afraid to shoot it from the outside, and that's what Bath's been able to do. And they've gotten clean up work by Faust and Oliver underneath there. So, but really, you know, it, it's coming down to defense for Bath too, because I think you know Faith Clark is just doing an outstanding job of keeping Freiburger now. Freiburger has four points, and she has been able to get to the basket twice, but she's had to work for everything she's got so far. She you has know. four. Cameron Morris has two for Bath, and Oliver with seven. Kelsey Carlson with five. Claire Faust with three. So we've had a total of five players score in the basketball game, and inbound to Grace Freiburger. This time she's guarded by Mar uh, Mason. And then Mason tips it away after a swift inside. Path lobs it ahead. Oliver looks a little bit too deep, but Clark runs it down the corner. Nice save. And Oliver for three. Bounces long. Battle for the rebound on the backside. We're going to get a held ball. And that will go to Bath. The scramble for the loose ball was Alexis Whetstone. Marley Mason. And that's going to be a real key for the Indians tonight is, you know, getting to the loose balls, getting the ball, you know, going for everything you can because you're not going to get that many opportunities. Oliver gets a three look. That one goes for her as well. She picked up the double figure score with 10. That's her seventh made three point field goal of the season. Bath has made 26 prior to tonight. They've got three this evening. And they have taken an 18-6 lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Bath staying with their man-to-man. -man. Morris, step back for her. Bounces around. The rebound comes to Menke. Back to Morris. This jump shot will go up from Betts. And you can see why Claire Faust is averaging 17 rebounds uh -huh. a game. Oliver for three. Another Look one. Out. She's feeling it right now. Yes, she is. 13 points in the game, and Coach Rumbaugh takes a timeout. It's staff 21, it's Shawnee 6. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. And guess what's on my Christmas list, Dar? <laughs> there <laughs> yeah. you go. Enjoy the app. Might as well get somebody That's right. to, to make it a Let Christmas somebody gift. somebody make it a Christmas present. That? Absolutely. How about Ann Oliver? She's got 13 to bats, 21 points here with still 6.39 to go in. Quarter number two, and th and three of those by the way, uh, three or nine of those points comes from the three-point line, which has made it look pretty easy from out there. And you know they played off of her a little bit because she is a you know a, a six-foot girl out there. So you think, well, she's going to be on the inside. Well, you can't leave her on the outside, that's for sure. When you're averaging 12 and a half a game and you got 13 with six and a half minutes to go in the <laughs> second quarter, you're looking at a pretty good night. See what Shawnee has in mind is Bath has switched to some zone activity. Actually, they've not. 
He just started sagging back in. And really protected the goal. Freiburger picked it up. Well, they, they know that the Indians are just 7 for 35 from three-point range, and they're 0 for 3 tonight. So if you can push them out, keep them out of the paint, and keep them outside there, you know, make them shoot those outside shots, you've got a good chance. Freiburger goes to the rim, and she is fouled before she can get there. So this will be a take the ball out of bounds foul. She is pushing foul. We'll go to Marley Mason. That is her first. You know, as well as Bath is defended, they have just three total fouls here yeah. in the opening half. Which is amazing considering how many times, they, you know, you know Freiburger wants to go to the basket. You know, she came into this game hitting 76% of her free throws, 35 for 46, so she shot 46 of the 62 free throws for the Indians so far this season. You know, so you want to you push her, you know, as much as you can. Kelsey Carlson entered back into the basketball game. Three goes up, bounces around. Faust with another rebound. To Ann Oliver, Faith Clark, who hit it out of bounds, Freiburger did. Good hustle by Freiburger on break that one up. Bath with wins over Wasion, Spencerville, Sydney in overtime, and then last Thursday night over Van Wert in league play. McDermott comes off, tries to turn the corner. On East State in zone. Carlson goes to the rim this time oh and my. finishes. Seven for her in the game. Been bombing away from the outside. That time she went right to the goal and got a basket. Yeah, nice left-handed layup in there. 23-6. Freiberger working the lane. Gets cut off again. Morris. And Whetstone. Whetstone trying to measure up. Oliver cuts her off trying to get to the goal. Yeah, you got to take that opportunity when you get it because you're not going to see it too much. Bath gives up just 37.8 points per game. That includes giving up 65 in that overtime game to, to a very talented Sydney team. Take that one out. Their defensive average is much, much better. Oh, yeah, they had a 41 to 19 win over Van Wert. Freiberger off glass a little hard. Claire Faust rebounds to Ann Oliver. Just put that on McDermott tape, McDermott for three. Rebound Freiberger. Yeah, just put that on tape. Faust with the rebound uh, and just, just keep playing it. Yeah, just, yeah, keep, just playing keep playing it. it. Trying to get inside is Whetstone. She gets doubled down, and we're going to get a held ball that will stay at this end of the floor. Lauren Potts back into the game. Also back into the game will be Glenn Faust. As Dar said earlier, Shawnee had a couple of early losses to Marion Local and Columbus Grove, then three consecutive wins, Waynesville, Elida, and New Knoxville. And we're going to head the other way. Back into the game. Well, into the game for the first time is number 33, Heaven Watkins. Heaven is a 5'6 sophomore. Averaging just under a point a game and one, uh, just under a rebound per game. Shawnee's going to stay in their zone. As always, Bath always has good out guard play. And this year, you know, with Faith Clark out there running the offense, you know, it's no different from any other season, it seems like, for the Bath Wild Kittens. Freiberger anticipates to get a steal. And Grace goes to the rim and scores. Point five and six for her. Four and a half minutes into quarter number two. That's Shawnee's first basket of the second quarter. Makes the 15-point Wild Kitten lead. Great anticipation by Grace Freiberger on that one to take that, take it the length of the court then. Carlson for three, likes that corner. Rebound to Heaven Williams. Watkins, excuse me. We're getting a play call from Coach Rumbaugh. Watkins looking for somebody to pass to and finally finds Grace Freiberger's pass inside. Menke kicks it back out. Three ball goes up. And rebound. Oh, it will not fall. Good position inside for Lauren Potts, but the ball wouldn't fall for her. Oliver gets another three look. 
Carlson rebounds, and she's yeah. that one in. She's got nine in the game, Kelsey Carlson. She averages nine and a half, she's got nine right now. Cameron Morris enters the basketball game, as does Claire Faust. And also, Marley Mason pops back into the game. Wild Kittens have played seven in the opening half. Shawnee has got thought, eight players into the game. Well, that's what Shawnee needed to do in that last one. You saw how quickly she released the ball once she got she caught it. She just caught it and shot it right away because you can't give Bassett in time to, to set up a defense at all. Mason, and now Oliver Faust inside. There's a double team. Flip was back out of it. And then repost. Step through move. Boy, she did at that and draws contact. Big and strong and her step through move and keeping their feet uh, parallel so she trap really oh, good yeah, footwork. Like I said, she turns so many different ways. I'm not sure how she does that, but she always manages to work her way through and get an open look at the basket. And a Menke picked up the foul. Here's Faust at the free throw line. That is her sixth point in the game. Pass ahead to the rim and unable oh. to finish inside is Morris. Faust with a rebound. Tough break because she really had an open yeah, look there. They've, they've had a couple that, that just yeah. shot hard, but somewhat in a hurry because the Wildcat defense is chasing them down. And you can hear those footsteps behind you. You don't know how close they are, but you know they're there. That ball's knocked down by Morris, throws it head to Freiburger. And she will challenge Oliver and nice score. Move. She's got eight in the game. That was a tough shot. Over a tall and talented Ann Oliver. And the ball saved. Let's see if they let it roll out of bounds. And they do. Well, she works hard out there, doesn't she? She really does. You know, uh, Dar, I've, I've seen a lot of volleyball in the last 20-plus uh, years. And she did something this year I've not personally seen before. She was a, the libero, and obviously a very talented libero and a very good Shawnee volleyball team. But she was player of the year in the Western Buckeye League. And you just don't see liberos be player right. of the year. Right. Nice pass cross court. Good finish. Basketball ended up into Elsie McDermott's hand with a couple of good passes, and she's in the scorebook. And she came in averaging six points a game, and that's her first basket of the night. Got loose in transition, a couple of good passes, and the Wild Kittens have taken a 20-point lead. Watkins. Freiburger is going to go left this time, pull up jumper. That time the rebound came to Carlson, and we're going to get a foul. Let's see how this is played out here. Grace Freiberger will get the foul as she was trying to strip the ball loose on the rebound. Morgan Betts will re-enter. Freiberger came out a little bit gimpy that yes, time. She Went down did. hard with a wild kitten on top of her. But she's not over well. Of course, we're close to halftime thinking she wouldn't be there very long, but maybe with the halftime coming that coach will let her set the rest of the half. Of course, Bath Bay choose to play last shot in the quarter as well. With a 30 to 10 lead. Carlson. And Oliver. And good and ball movement there. And sister Elena playing at Malone this year as a freshman. So my daughter went to school at Malone. In Canton, Ohio. Yep. Man. Spent a lot of time driving Route 30 or 224. McDermott gets a three. Got it. Lizzie McDermott lights the lamp. She scores the last five round points of the quarter, and they will take a 33 10 to the break. We played 16 minutes. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. Back up Bath High School. The Wild Kittens have taken a 33 to 10 lead over the Shawnee Indians here in our opening half. Bath has had quarter scores of 15 and 18. Shawnee's had quarter scores of six and four. 
Hence the lead that we see right now. Dar, what kind of stat numbers do you have? Well, you look at Shawnee, first of all, they're 5 for 19 from the field, just 26% shooting, 0 for 5 for three-point range. They haven't been to the foul line yet. They've got eight rebounds and eight turnovers. Uh, flipping over to Bath, you're looking at total field goals, 12 for 26, 46%. Three-point range, 5 for 14, that's 36%. Four for five at the line, 13 rebounds, and just four turnovers un unofficially. So, you know, it's been a very efficient game for Bath. You know, Shawnee, of course, like you said, they came in not shooting that well from three-point range, and they haven't hit one tonight for them. But they really haven't got that many opportunities to shoot either. Shawnee has had just two players score. Cameron Morris has a basket. Grace Freiburg has four baskets for eight points. But... They've done a really nice job, Faith Clark in particular, but a lot of help oh, with defense as well. Certainly has. I mean, Faith Clark has been all over her. And, you know, the biggest thing with Freiburger is if you can keep her from going to the paint because that's where she gets a lot of her points at the free throw line. If you can keep her from driving the basket, where she's very good. And her four baskets so far have been basically that. You know, get to the basket, throw it up there any way you can, and then you'll know, either draw a foul or it's going to go in. So give a lot of credit to the Bath defense for keeping her out of there. Bath has had four players score, and Oliver has 13, including three three-point field goals. Kelsey Carlson has nine. She made a three-point field goal. Claire Faust has six, and Izzy McDermott came alive at the end of the quarter. She has five, including a three-point field goal. And well, you talked about the defense, and you talked about the rebounding of Faust, and they have played very well at that end of the floor. Well, and, and they came in at a very good three-point shooting team, and Oliver's shown that. And the big thing for Bath is, you know, you can shoot that three-pointer out there when you got people like Faust underneath the basket. It's going to clean it up for you. You know, you don't, you don't have no fear to shoot it up from a three-point range. And they've had a couple open looks. Shawnee needs to do a better job of getting out there and keeping Oliver from shooting that three-pointer. But At yeah. halftime, one of Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard is Bath 33. It's Shawnee 10. Second half action coming up after this. You're watching high school basketball in WSN. Back at Bath High School, where our scoreboard is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Mark Shine, Darn Evergall here at Bath High School. Chicken's with a 33-10 lead, and Shawnee will get the basketball first in half number two. It's a little bit different set. They're going to start Freiburg around the free throw line there. They're post up. Yeah, they need to make some adjustments to get her freed up a little bit more. But, you know, they got to get some, make some adjustments on defense as well. And there's oh. a basket off of the assist by Alexis Whetstone. Her first basket of the evening. Alexis averages three and a half points per game. So the new offensive set work. Pass inside. Carlson reverse layup on a nice pass. Kelsey becomes a double-figure scorer with 11. Freiburger back in that post area. Back in Clark down. It goes off glass. No. Faust rebounds. Kick out Oliver. And Oliver lost the basketball trying to get to the rim. Cut off by Heaven Watkins. Here's a pass ahead. And trying to go to the goal was Cameron Morris, and she lost her balance with Claire Faust track, tracking him down. I mean, the Indians haven't backed off as far as trying to run with the Bath Wildcats. I mean, but, you know, it's gotten a little sloppy because of it. But, hey, more power to them if they can get up and down the court. McDermott too. finds oh, Carlson in the hands. Different passers, same result. Kelsey Carlson has 13 in the game now. I'll tell you, Mark, that's a smooth move. There's a the nice basket. pass. It went inside. It went from Watkins to Cam Morris. And Cameron will get to go to the free throw line. And these will be the first free throws of the evening for the Shawnee Indians. Yeah, Cam's one for one this season at the free throw line. Kelsey Carlson is assessed to the bath foul. And it bounces off the rim. Cameron Morris averages 4.8 uh, points per game. She has a two this evening, looking at three if she can nail this one. And that one she does. Dermot to Clark. 2-3 zone, Shawnee. 
Couple of transition baskets take you out of that 2 2 1 zone. Oh, he will. Fast. Here's McDermott for three. That'll Here's do it. Too. McDermott. She's got eight in the game now on her second triple of the evening. Faust, high for the rebound. Outlet pass, Oliver. Carlson's, oh, thought she was going to get a three look. Instead, she goes in the lane. Faust rebounds it. So Faust goes up and scores. She's got eight now. That's the problem when you try to play a zone against Bath because, you know, you might take, try to take them out from underneath the basket, but unfortunately they're such a good three-point shooting team, they'll just break that zone. Freiburg goes with the left hand this time. Let's see if the foul occurred before the shot attempt. It did not, so Grace Freiburg will go to the free throw line. Foul went to Faith Clark. Faith second. She becomes the first Wildcat with two fouls this evening. Fiberger's ninth point. She becomes a double-figure scorer. She can knock this one down. And she does. Averages 22.3 points per game. She's got 10 now this evening. That's a hard fought, like I said, 10 points, I'll tell you. So he's going man at this time. Farberger tried to tip it away from Oliver. Dave Clark. Wild kittens with a couple of players in the wing back there just waiting for the ball. Faust. Back cut. Passed inside to McDermott, and she loses it. Passes a little too close to the baseline for her to handle successfully. Just the seventh Freiburg turnover. Thought she was going to pull up for three. Instead, Whetstone goes baseline where she gets cut off. Freiburg oh. with a nice cut, but it's blocked by Oliver. And then Watkins gets it. Freiburg for three. Yes! She's got 13 in the game, and the first made three-point field goal for Shawnee this evening. Yeah, just one for six so far tonight. Cuts it to 42-18. Clark better hurry. Just got it across the line. You gotta be impressed with play Faith Clark. I mean, she's only averaging about three points a game, but boy, she can run the offense. And Oliver <laughs> from oh deep. Her fourth three-point field goal this evening. Ninth of the season, and she has 16. It's 45-18, Wild Kittens. Freiberger, pass cross court. This will be a jump shot by Betts. Morgan Betts in the books now. So you feel a little bit more comfortable offensively here in quarter number three. I'll tell you, Oliver came in just shooting Five for 18 for three point Watkins range. Strips it loose from Faust. Freiburg closed out to her. She goes to 14 feet. She's got 15 in the game. She's got seven in this quarter, and we're just four and a half minutes into it. Well, now you can see why she averages about 22 points a game. She'll she shoot pulled from up on that three ball and made a nice fake and went to the foul line area to score. Oliver, her team up by 23. Lob pass inside is tipped away. Ends up in the hands of Alexis Whetstone. Not a lot of throws it to Watkins, and that shot's blocked by Oliver. Clark chases it down. We got a scramble in the corner, and we get a held ball. And the arrow favors the Bath Wild Kittens as Glenn Faust checks in. Wears at number 12. And Kelsey Carlson will get a break with 13 points. Clark, Morgan Betts been chasing her around. Here's Oliver. Good 
Defensive play by Alexis Westone. She knocks the cutter down and gets a steal. Morris. The Indians putting up a nice fight right now. Good quarter for them. It is. Whetstone wanted to shoot a three, but Faust got two in a hurry. So he's got 12 in this quarter. They only had 10 at halftime. Back cut. Pass out. Morris gets a two shot, shot look, and oh, she makes okay. it. Cameron Morris has five points in the game. It's a 21-point lead, and Bath loses the basketball, and we'll get a hell ball, and we'll go to Shawnee. Some good flurry of activity here for the Shawnee Lady Indians as Marley Jackson, Marley Mason enters. Kelsey Carlson will come back in as well. Indians playing some good aggressive defense right now. Bath has 12 in the quarter. Shawnee has... 14 in the quarter, so it has been a good quarter for the Indians so far. Partly because of what this young lady's done. Evan Watkins, Miss Freiberger, skip pass, two ball, Morgan Betts. Shawnee shooting very well in the quarter. Cut the lead to 19. That's her second basket of the night for uh, Morgan Betts. Well, he stepped up the defense, and Freiberger will get called for her second foul, joining Lauren Potts and Bryn Patterson with two fouls for Shawnee tonight. That's call number 14, Grace Freiberger, second. Kelsey Carlson will be the inbounder on our Leeds Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Bath 45 and 26 for the Shawnee Indians. To Faith Clark in the backcourt. Mason. And he's made a nice adjustment at halftime. And Freiberger with a steal. Anticipated dribble, goes to the goal, and scores. She's got 17 in the game. She's got nine in this quarter. And we talked about her average is about four steals a game, and she's certainly done that in this game as well. Approaching a minute to go in the third quarter, and we're going to get a foul assessed to Morgan Betts. The WSN Scores app is new and approved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. With 1.15 to go, Oliver. That was just Betts' first foul, and that was not a bad foul. I mean, you know, just kind of slow down bass momentum as they're coming down the court. Dave Clark tries to turn the corner, pass inside, Faust, but she gets a block, gathers herself, and goes back up and scores. But her Faust becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. Just too strong underneath. The size and strength really oh, does boy. play to the Wildcat's hand tonight. Freiberger. Watkins goes baseline. Betts has made a couple of jumpers. This shot by Morris. And the rebound will come to Izzy McDermott. The bat tries to play last shot here as we approach half a minute to go in quarter three. Oliver. And Claire Faust and Oliver. A little pitch and catch out front. They're going to go for that last one. Carlson. And then Faust. Oliver comes to get it. Here's the last play. Lob pass inside. Oh, oh she just overthrew Faust by a little bit. Right idea, just a little bit yep. along on the execution. 2.4 for Shawnee to get a shot. They try to lull the Indians to sleep and then get that last basket and just overthrew her. We're going to get a timeout right here. It's the last second play opportunity take place. Pretty good time for a timeout. 2.4 to go here in the quarter. It's called by Shawnee. It was a timeout also in the first half, so they have three remaining. Got some information for you. You can catch Bath again next week on television on WOS. Then on Monday night, they will play Jefferson here. Very talented Delphus Jefferson team. That will air on WSN on a Tuesday evening. 
Shawnee's also in action next week on Monday night. They go to Delta St. John's. Big weekend, though, for Bath next weekend. They have their tournament here. We'll have Notre Dame Academy from Toledo on Friday night playing Bryan. The second game will be Marion Local and Bath. Those games are at 6.30 and 8 o'clock on Friday. The winners and losers both come back and play on Saturday. So big basketball tournament next weekend here at Bath. <laughs> Blocked again. Faust with the ball. Three ball. Just get it up. I'm not sure that would have counted or not. Darvish made a couple no. of nice plays. It was a good quarter for Shawnee. They cut it to 47-28. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Back at High School, our fourth quarter, and our scoreboard is not brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here. 18 to 14, the third quarter for Shawnee, Darn. That was a good quarter for the Indians. And, you know, it's a shame that they were down 33 to 10, and they had to fight so hard to get back, you know, to an 18 14 win in that third quarter. But, you know, they just, you know, they made some adjustments. You can see that. They changed a couple personnel out there as well, but they got more aggressive on defense, and they now they're not afraid to shoot the ball. I think in the first half they acted a little timid when they were trying to shoot the ball. They were afraid, you know, you got Oliver and Faust out there standing in front of you, but, you know, they're getting a little quicker on the release and a little quicker on the trigger. So paid off dividends for them in third. Grace Freiberger leads all scores with 17 as we're going to get a foul that will go to Morgan Betts. Bath has uh, three players in double figures. Ann Oliver with 16, Kelsey Carlson with 13, Claire Faust with 10. And there's Izzy McDermott setting with eight, so a very balanced scoring for the Wildcats this evening. Other four players and who have uh, scored this evening. This is Faith Clark, who has orchestrated the offense and played very well def defensively. Oliver has a three look. She made another oh, one. My goodness. 19 in the game for her, five three-point eagle goals. And in this game, she's matched what she made in the first uh, four games. I was about to say, Darv, you've got five <laughs> three-point field goals in four games and five in one game. That's probably pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, Carlson with a steal. Wild Kittens up by 22. It's unofficially 11 turnovers now for the Indians. Lob pass in, Faust, step through, and that's a really pretty move by her. She's got 12. And I'm not sure how you could stop that move, I mean, without fouling her. Watkins, heaven with the basketball. On top it goes to Morgan Betts. And now Grace Feiberger, they moved her to that foul line area here. The break, she gets a three, look at Spanks oh, in. Look out. 20 for her in the game, her second three-point field goal. She's got 20 of the 31 Indian points this evening. I don't know if you saw her, Mark, after she shot that, she put her hand on her mouth like, oh, my, I don't know how that went in. <laughs> it counts. It counts. It doesn't matter. That's what you got a backboard for. Carlson. And Freiburg went for the steal. Oliver comes up with it. Lob pass in, Faust. That was well done. The pass was perfect, and the catch was even better. Faust with 14. Good pass from Faith Clark. Kittens have taken it back to a 23-point lead. Freiberger's going to penetrate dribble this time, and the foul occurs. The foul will go to Faith Clark. That's Faith's third foul. And it's going to be an out-of-bounds foul as contact occurred before. Freiberger was able to load up the shoot. You think that's three fouls on Faith Clark, but considering she's been guarding Freiberger most of the night, three fouls is pretty good. Oliver anticipated that, got a hand on it, but still ended up in the hands of Whetstone. Pass inside. Oh, nice job. It was. Cameron Morris caught the ball and tried to get it up through traffic, just wasn't able to. Here's a pass head to Carlson. Step back three for her. Faust tips it to herself. Bounce pass to McDermott and not able to score that time. Watkins gets the rebound, rips it away from Faust. 
They are so impressive under the basket. You know, they, as far as movement of the ball, the big girls get in, open underneath there, and they're getting great lead-in passes from their, their guards out front. Faith Clark matched up with Freiburgers to jump around the corner. Nope, more three downs. Nice pass. And powering up through traffic is Grace Freiburger. A nice, really fast pass. We got a break in the action. We're going to take a timeout. You're watching High School Basketball at WOSN. Grace Freiburger will go to the free throw line of Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. 54 31 bath. Freiburger makes the free throw. She's got 21 in the game now. She makes the next one. She's right at her average of 22. A 76% free throw shooter. And she has a really a smooth shot there at the foul line. And nice little backspin on it. One of the things that Bath has done, though, Dar, is she, she shoots about uh, 12 free throws a game. That's just her third and yeah. fourth. So they've done a pretty good job of keeping her off the foul line this evening. 21-point game. The basketball game with Faust in the corner. Carlson, Oliver. Three-point and Oliver. That's a bit hard. Faust gets the rebound and in the process of trying to rip it loose, she is fouled by. I think they got Lauren Potts, and so that will be Lauren's third. It is. Each team has two fouls in the quarter. And that was just indicative of what Bass been able to do all night long with Oliver shooting it from way outside on a three point and Faust cleaning it up underneath. Bounce pass inside. Oliver's going to go to the rim this time and will go up to traffic and score points 20 and 21 for her. Pass ahead. Morris on the top of the circle for three. A little bit hard. Faust secured the rebound. Here's Carlson. And this ball slapped out of bounds. I had the feeling that Carlson and McDermott know when Faust gets a rebound, you take off from the other end of the yep, floor. They're absolutely. down there ready to catch and shoot. And then Oliver or Clark will bring it up. Five count going. Pass gets to Oliver. And she was trying to fight through traffic when she is fouled. That will be the third foul of the quarter. Grace Freiberger will get her fi third foul. In the game will be Bryn Patterson. Under 3.44 left in the game. There it is Oliver again. It's a three look. Faust goes after the rebound. McDermott ends up in her hands and is the McDermott scores. She becomes a double figure scorer now with 10. That's four Wild Kittens in double figures now. And at uh, that time, Cameron Morris over penetrated a bit and traveled. The Indians, I officially, I got them for 12 turnovers, which isn't bad considering no. you know, the way this game's been played out. Marley Mason at the scorer's table didn't get there quite in time to check into the game. And we're going to blocking foul to go against Grace Freiberger, and that becomes Grace's fourth foul. And the fourth of the quarter. So Mark will be shooting foul shots the rest of the basketball game after the inbound this one. And a Menke enters for Shawnee. And into the game will come. As Molly Mason checked in for Bath. It's a good idea by uh, Freiberger. She just didn't get her feet set. Lob pass, Faust is a little long. Good backside help from Cameron Morris. Gets the steal. Here's Cameron. She bounce passes ahead, tipped across the court to Menke, and will go out of bounds. Nobody out there for the Indians to pick that one up. Well, we talked about this Indians team. Well, Freiburger is the only senior on this team. A lot of sophomores and a couple freshmen mixed in with that as well. So a lot of youth out there for the Shawnee Indians. 
Faust way out on top, being harassed by Menke. And finally they find Izzy McDermott. Morris almost with a steal. Faust ends up with it in the corner. Indians still McDermott. playing good at de you know, aggressive defense. Faust looks at Oliver inside. Wasn't there that time, and the ball skips out of bounds. Media timeout. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. Back at Bath High School, number 34, Allison Hunterstager checks in. She's a 5'9 sophomore for Bath. Allison coming in, averaging a point a game. Cross court pass goes to Patterson. Bounce pass inside. Faust almost with a steal. Instead, she gets called for a foul going through Cameron Morris. Believe it or not, that's just her first foul. I'll <laughs> pass out on top. That's Freiburger. 22 points in the game for her and passes a little bit long. 146 to go. Brittany Goodman, number 50, will enter for bat. Is the 5'10 senior. Also in will be number 11. Harrison Gibson wears number 11 for Bath, and Ann Oliver will sit down with 21 points. Right now, Mark, Indians playing with a lot of heart. You know, just staying in this game. They fought back in the third quarter, but, you know, just Bath's just playing too much for them. And Freiburger will get called for her fifth foul in the basketball game. Trying to cut off the dribbler. In the presence of Marley Mason, not quite able to. So Grace Freiberger will foul out 22 points this evening and made a couple of three-point field goals this evening. Four for four from the free throw line. Had some steals, played really well this evening. Here's Mason to the free throw line. Makes the first one. That's her first point of the game. Number 14 will enter now. That's Emily Gomez. And Bath now has all of their starters out. Makes both of those. 90 seconds to go in this one. That's Mason's first basket, uh, first two points of the game of the year, actually. And Barley picks up her second foul. For a bash third team foul, and Heaven Watkins will trigger the baseline inbounds play. Morris into the lane, tries to bounce it across the lane. Can't quite get it there. It's stolen by Harnesfeger. Yeah, there's not a lot of room in there to bounce past it in there. Same situation the other end of the floor. Yeah. Tried to squeeze a pass in that wasn't there. Bryn Patterson got a steal. Watkins standing right on the three-point line for that effort was Betts. And the rebound was secured by Addison Gibson. And we had a held ball situation, and it'll be Shawnee basketball, 64 seconds to go. JV game tonight was won by Shawnee, 29-23. Look inside is Betts. Watkins. There's Betts again going to the rim. It's cut off that time by Gomez. This pass goes to Menke. Watkins wants a three look. Or excuse me, not Watkins, but Betts gets a three look that doesn't fall. I'll tell you what, Mark, you look at Cam Morris, and she has just a, done an outstanding job really tonight. She's had to work. At five foot seven, she's going up against two uh, six footers underneath that basket, and she's fought really hard inside there. Coming off the screen is Mason. 
Gomez. And harsh finger on top. And, oh, just misread the cut. Yes. Addison Gibson was cutting back door and expected the pass to go to the wing. And with 8.4 seconds to go, we'll get a Shawnee turnover. And he's an opportunity to get the last shot of this game. That shot will not fall, and the ball kicks out of bounds. Matt Wildkitten will take a 60 to 33 win tonight over the Shawnee Indians. Shawnee will have quarter scores of 6, 4, 18, and 5. We're letting scoring tonight by Grace Freiberger. She had 22. 14 of those came in the second half. They got five from Cameron Morris. They got four from Morgan Betts. They got two from Alexis Whetstone. Bath had quarter scores of 15, 18, 14, and 13 for their 60. They had uh, double figure scores with President Van Allen with 21, 14 from Claire Faust, 13 from Kelsey Carlson. 10 from Izzy McDermott and a pair of free throws from Marley Mason. Pretty good effort tonight by the Bath Wildkittens, I thought, Dart. Played oh. very well from start to finish. Oh, absolutely. They played great on the outside with Oliver hitting from the three-point range. And then you got Faust underneath just, you know, doing her typical thing of getting the rebounds. Faith Clark running the offense for Bath. They had everything clicking the way they needed to. You know, Shawnee played great, you know, personally in the second half. I mean, they, they really came back after being down 33-10. Didn't give up. Made some adjustments, you know. You know, actually won the third quarter, but they were just out, you know, out muscled and outplayed tonight by the bat team. You know, this is a team that's got to go up against Marion Local next week. That ought to be yeah, interesting should to be see. Really good, you know, shouldn't it? it should I, be. I think there's one other thing we ought to mention. We don't often, you know, point out a player who is scoreless in the basketball game and their effect on it, but Faith Clark tonight did not score in the basketball game. Her contributions in other areas was outstanding. Oh yeah, she has come in averaging just under three points a game, but that's not her job. That's not what she needs to do. She needs to run the offense. She's the general out there. She keeps everybody out there moving around and stuff, and that's what she needs to do, you know. And then you look at Oliver, my gosh, you know, you know, hit more three points tonight than she did all season long. So, you know, this is a bath team that's got everything set up the way, and they know each of, each of them know their roles. That's the big thing. They know what they're supposed to do, and they do it very well. We'll thank our scoreboard sponsor tonight. That has been Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. We'll thank the athletic director here as well, Kristen Holt. Got us all set up this evening. Met me at the door this evening. Always appreciate that. Jacob O'Neill did all of our technical and camera work here at Bath High School, and he will take this back to the station and edit it. Bath High School will take a 60-33 win and go to 5-0 on the season, 2-0 in the Western Buckeye League. We've been watching high school basketball on WOSN.